We are presented with a patient who has both a hereditary ataxia that has progressed with age, as well as a, a lower extremity spastic paraparesis referred by neurology. He has not been able to ambulate walking for 10 years and uses a wheelchair. Their video is in fast forward, of course. There is bilateral clonus, which is a repetitive cyclical shaking due to overstimulation of the upper motor neuron syndrome, similar to having active reflexes. We do diagnostic nerve blocks to the whole tibial nerve behind the knee to stop the electrical conduction to the calf muscles, the gastric soleus complex, and you can see we are able to obliterate the clonus and relax the ankle so that they have more range of motion but are not shaking. But because this is an upper motor neuron problem coming through the spinal cord down to the legs, we can see when we block it from the calves, his thighs are still quivering, so, but the ankles are much improved. We decided to do a gait analysis as he has not walked independently for 10 years. I am hovering because I am very worried. Of course, this is fast forward again. And some of the things you can see on his gait pattern is he is a taxic, meaning he can't quite place his foot in space because he doesn't feel it. He's very off balance. And it's difficult for him to bend the knee and the ankle because of the stiffness and tightness in the calf muscles to progress. So I am really uh, hovering because I'm worried that he will fall down because he has not stood up in so many years. We began his physiotherapy pre-treatment of uh, cryoneurolysis of the tibial nerves because we wanted him to get some strong legs. He has been uh, attending neuromotion rehab for the last few months. Uh, it has now been a month since the cryoneurolysis to both tibial nerves, and he has progressed quite rapidly from the parallel bars to walking independently with uh, standby assistance, which is quite an extraordinary outcome. Our typical patient with stroke or multiple sclerosis or even cerebral palsy often don't have a lot of sensation in the limb. So when we do a mixed nerve, nerve block and crown or lysis, which takes up the motor and sensory branches, we often don't see a change in dysesthesia. But in a case of an ataxia like this, there is sensation. And the patient identified for us, there is a sensory disturbance in the foot. It doesn't require medications, but it is very sensitive and we need to do some management. What we have to do in this case is be aware. And in many patients, we will actually just do the um, medial and lateral gastrocnemius branches and spare the soleus. But we know that soleus is so important for clonus that we chose to include it and also the sensory branch. Hopefully the lack of sensation also will reduce the amount of sensitivity that causes the clonus.